Now, we looked in the lecture at the center of mass of a right triangle. How about a general triangle? Where is the center of mass of a, just a general triangle? So here's, for example, just a general triangle that looks like this. Where is the center of mass? Let's call this A, B, C. Let me draw the median. The median means that those two, this is a midpoint here. Let me draw from B to the median. And let's call the length of the median, call it M. So M is the median, median length. And let me extend this median and call this the x-axis. So let me calculate x of the center of mass. What is xcm for the center of mass? It's the integral. It's 1 over the mass times the integral of x dm. Now what is dm here? Let me take a slice here parallel to this. So there's a distance x. From here to here is x. There's another slice, another piece. This is x x plus dx. So this, this is just dx here. So this is a slice. What is the mass? This is my infinitesimal mass. What is dm? Now, we can call sigma as the total mass over the total area. Mass over area. The total area of the triangle and the total mass of the triangle. Mass over area is because sigma, and it's in kilogram per meter square. This is the mass, surface mass density. So dm, the mass of this infinitesimal piece, is equal to sigma times the area of this piece. Now, what is the area of this piece? This is like a, 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 a trapezoid. So, being a trapezoid, there's a length here, and there's a height. What is the length? If I call this B, the whole thing, AC, I call it B. Notice that, and let's call the length L here. This length is L. I have L over B. because they are parallel. L over B is the same as X over M. X over the whole median. So this means that L is B over M, X. And M is the median. Now, maybe I should give it another name because I'm using M for the mass. Let's call the median, let's call it T, the median. So instead of M here, Let's just use T. So L is B over T X. This is L times the height of the trapezoid. Now what is the height? See here's... Suppose I draw the perpendicular. The height is here. I have to draw a perpendicular. So that would be perpendicular, because those are parallel. So this is the height. How much is this height? This is dx. From here to here is dx. Again. Here's the height. This is dx. So what is the height? Here's the height. It's dx sine the angle here. What is this angle? Same as this 
so it's dx sine the angle, and it's the same as this angle, theta. So, so the height of the trapezoid is dx sine theta. So the area is length, which is b over t, x times the height, which is dx sine theta. This is dm. So now xcm finally is 1 over m times this integral. So all these are constants, sigma b sine theta over t. And I'm left with x dx from dm and another x from here. So just x squared dx. So this is 1 over m sigma b sine theta over t. And this is from 0, x from 0 to the length of the median, which is t, from 0 to t. So this is x cubed over 3 from 0 to t. So this is just t cubed over 3. So it becomes 1 over m sigma. But sigma over m, you see, is 1 over the area. Sigma over m. So that's 1 over the area, b, t, square, sine theta over 3. But b, t, sine theta, b times t, sine theta. Where is t sine theta? It's the height. This is t. So the height is t sine theta. Times b is twice the area. So this is becomes, this is b t sine theta is twice the area, over the area, so you get 2t over 3. So xcm is 2 times the median over 3. So it's 2 thirds the way to the median. And where is that? That's where the medians meet. So you draw a median, 2 thirds of the way to the median, that's the center of mass. And in fact, if you draw the medians, the three medians, they meet here at the point which is two-thirds the way for each one of them. So that's where the center, of mass, the center of mass of a triangle, how do you get it? Draw the medians, and where they meet, that's the center of mass. Okay, thank you for...